aftermath of the storm is being felt across the Commonwealth. Yeah, including up in Matthews County, where an iconic theater's roof mm -hmm. collapsed. Town on your side's Matt Gregory is live in the Upper Peninsula and continues our team coverage. Matt? Yeah, Anita and Deanna, we're up here in Gloucester, just outside of Matthews County, where this is what the conditions look like. The snow's turned to ice, and it's still, while roads have been plowed, you're still seeing areas that aren't quite clear yet. In addition to that, there was another disaster that happened Friday night during the first round of the storm, and that took out a historic landmark. You don't have to know the history of Donk's Theater in Matthews County to call the collapse devastating. It is a part of my family, and it feels like a death. It really to a point feels like a death in the family. If you're Linda Smith, there's no other way to describe the theater where you grew up. And my dad drove by when I was two years old and, and said that place, we need to do something with that. And he decided to start this country music theater. For years, the Smith family performed inside as part of Virginia's Little Ole Opry. Lots of great memories and lots of great experiences. Dolly Parton's been here and, and Porter Wagner and little Jimmy Dickens. Friday night's weather pulled the final curtain on Donks Theater. Matthews County Building Inspector Jamie Wilkes says the heavy wind, the snow and the ice forced down the roof. When a commercial building begins to fail, usually catastrophic and it all fails at once. The side walls blew out and the back of the theater spit chunks of concrete from the building. The costumes, the chairs, and the stage itself now trapped inside. When we turned that corner and saw it and have to admit tears, tears flew. With each onlooker and each photo snapped, you can see how much Donk's theater means to not just the Smith family, but Matthews County. Um, we plan to make music, yes. Somehow, somewhere, we will do it. I spoke with the building inspector. He told me that they do expect to start demolition tomorrow. Now, as to whether or not the building will be rebuilt, that's up to the owner, and we'll have to wait and see. Near Matthews County in Gloucester, Matt Gregory, 10 on your side.